Hello, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper at RadioPreppers.com. So after building the Pixie Chinese transceiver that I paid about three or four dollars for, um, I decided to uh, build the Frog Sounds transceiver, which is a little bit more sophisticated and uh, presumably outputs about three watts. So here's the circuit board. It looks pretty dense. There are a lot of components on this board. So it's a little bit harder than the Pixie. And we have a bag of, actually two bags of components. There isn't much of a manual. It's more of a list of parts. But that should be enough. The layout of the board is here. And we have the components list. So let's start the build. The markings on the board are very small, so I'm using a magnifying lens. I'm not going to show you the whole build, that's, that's pointless. Uh, I'll just uh, show you the build, uh, a few steps of the build, and then we'll go on to uh, testing the radio, hopefully if it works. And now we have all the resistors on the board. And uh, really, there's no uh, particular difficulty. All the uh, capacitors, well, the ceramic capacitors are now on the board. And I am left with a few extras, which doesn't bother me. I'd rather have too many than too few. I also didn't find C21 on the board, so I guess they just got rid of it. All finished. I was even left over with a bunch of components, even a transistor. Uh, there's nowhere to put uh, those things on the board, so I'm not going to worry about it. I really like the way the heatsink is soldered on the board. That made uh, putting the uh, power transistor there very uh, easy. Now let's plug it in and uh, hope it doesn't smoke. So we are going to try to make a contact with the Frog Sounds transceiver today. It's plugged in into my T1 tuner and a 6 meter antenna. I'm much too short so I don't know how well it's going to work. But we can try. I've had results before uh, on that wire uh, with my KX2, so of course this is uh, much less power. We'll see if the uh, reverse beacon network picks up my calls and uh, posts them on the internet. Well, that's not going to help. <laughs> One more time.
I'm using my uh, Kent key on the side here and a little speaker so uh, I'm not really expecting a result here it's the middle of the day on 40 meters so I'd be surprised if uh, Propagation allowed any uh, any contact, but uh, we'll see. You never know. You know. Until you try, you don't know. Weird things happen sometimes in radio. I switched to the uh, Chameleon Hybrid Micro with the whip, 3.2 meter whip, and uh, yeah, I'm getting contacts on the uh, reverse beacon network. Amazing. Here's the uh, report from the uh, reverse beacon network. And you see that there are quite a few uh, reports here on 7 MHz for the uh, frog sounds. I was a bit surprised, though I shouldn't have been, because of course uh, 1.8 watts uh, is going to uh, get you somewhere. And uh, I switched to the uh, Chameleon Hybrid Micro because I was using it with my uh, RT320 and uh, my KX2, but uh, the wire worked uh, just as well. Um, now, for prepping a radio uh, such as this one uh, wouldn't be my uh, my first choice by by far. Uh, the problem is not in the uh, transmitting but uh, receiving actually because there isn't any filtering. So you hear a lot of stations all around your operating frequency, and that's a problem because you don't know who's talking to you and you don't know who's uh, hearing you uh, really. So uh, that's a problem with all those cheap radios, you know, even the Rockmite uh, doesn't have uh, filtering, uh, uh, the Pixie of course, uh, uh, all those uh, small uh, cheap radios um, uh, will receive a lot of stuff uh, and that's a problem. Um, if you want to get something that has filtering and doesn't cost an arm and a leg, look at the uh, One Water, um, it's a very good radio, it does have filtering and uh, it, it's only fifty dollars so uh, it's one watt but one watt uh, will get you somewhere and w we've seen it here uh, you know 1.8 watts even the uh, pixie with uh, i don't know three or four hundred milliwatts we got reports from the uh, reverse beacon network so it's it is possible So the uh, Chameleon Hybrid Micro and Whip uh, are delivering quite nicely today on uh, 30 meter and of course the test we just did on uh, 40 uh, with the uh, frog sounds. So pretty happy about it. And that's it guys. Have a good one.